We are working really hard to try to find common ground. Julie McMillan knows there isn't much time left. No one wants a work stoppage. She and other nurses at the UVM Medical Center don't want to strike come Thursday morning. Do the right thing. But if negotiations don't lead to a contract both sides are happy with, they won't be alone at the picket line. We urge University of Vermont hospital administrators to offer a fair contract that will support local nurses and their families. More than 20 Burlington labor unions are ready to join in, supporting what the nurses have been asking for. We will do whatever it takes to help them win the contract that they deserve. A main sticking point still has to do with wages. The nurses union wants a 24% average wage increase over three years, while the hospital is offering a 13% increase. We uh, really want to assure the public that we are open, we are ready, we have really strong plans in place. UVM Medical Center President Eileen Wallen says she doesn't feel a 24% wage increase is realistic. In case of a strike, she already has plans to bring in nearly 500 nurses from across the country. The money to do that reaching into the millions of dollars. We have already started to incur the expense related to this uh, work stoppage. Nurses say they're doing their best to find common ground. There are opportunities for compromise. Potentially willing to lower that 24 percent wage increase to a number hospital officials can get on board with too. We're very excited to hear that there may be some willingness to compromise because they're still at 24 percent as far as we're aware. If uh, that changes, that would be great news. And again, talks will resume tomorrow at 4 p.m. Also tomorrow, hospital officials here will be holding a press conference to fill everyone in on the current uh, contract negotiations and also what they plan on doing to ensure all patients are taken care of if there is indeed a strike. Live in Burlington, Helena Batapaglia, NBC5 News.